Being prepared for the worst case scenario is what firefighters are trained to do. This fire season, that training is going to be seriously tested. With the start that we've had, I expect that we will have a busier season than normal. The threat of forest fires in northern Ontario is always there. This year, given the extremely dry conditions, even more so. This has uh, got to be the first year, I think, in 26 years I've been uh, fighting fires that uh, we've had to put our forestry stuff in service on the trucks in March. The fire department in Perry Sound says with its 30 volunteer firefighters, it is always on high alert. It can happen very quickly. Careless smoking, or railways grinding the tracks will set fires in these areas. Here in Northern Ontario, the fire season officially began the 1st of April, but unofficially, it began much earlier than that. There's already been more than 40 forest fires in the region, and this season is expected to be very active. Some lightning strikes or some careless uh, campers, or, or uh, we could see uh, almost uh, a burning inferno there. Last year in Northern Ontario, there were more than 900 forest fires, over more than 600,000 hectares, forcing the evacuation of many communities. Two o'clock in the afternoon, by that time, everything's dried out. The wind is picking up and it gets onto a hillside. It can move so rapidly on us. And if there's a house at the top of that hill, that's our main priority. The Ministry of Natural Resources typically allocates between 75 and $100 million a year to forest fire response. By the time the 2011 fire season burned out, the cost topped $200 million. Those resources, uh, as they were last year, will be found this year if they're needed. It will depend on how the season uh, develops. Now on average across the province there are 1300 wildfires every year. Last year in northern Ontario alone there were 900 forest fires and given the conditions this season people have to be very responsible. There are of course many natural causes to the fire but as we've seen so often many fires are man-made.